Today is an important day marking the 95th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China. The Central Committee of the CPC is holding the meeting to grandly commemorate the founding of, the, of our party and honor the nation's outstanding Communist Party members, outstanding party workers, and outstanding grassroots party organizations. Those who are present today, General Secretary of the Central Committee of the CPC, Chinese President, President of the Central Military Committee, Comrade Xi Jinping. Other members of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the Central Met Committee. Others who are also present, leaders of the party, state, and the army, and the comrades responsible for the relevant departments in Beijing, representatives of the central committees of the Democratic parties, persons in charge of the All China Federation Industry of Commerce, and representatives of people who have no party affiliations, veteran party members, representatives of veteran cadres, outstanding Communist Party members who have been honored, outstanding party workers, outstanding representatives of grassroots party organizations, representatives of foreign experts working in China, grassroots party members, representatives of people from all walks of life, representatives of the People's Liberation Army and the Armed Police Force, and so on. Now. Please invite member of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee, member of the Secretariat of the CPC Central Committee, Comrade Liu Yingshan, to announce the decision by the CPC Central Committee to honor the nation's outstanding Communist Party members, outstanding party workers, and outstanding grassroots party organizations. The decision to honor the outstanding Communist Party members, outstanding party workers, and outstanding grassroots party organizations. The Communist Party of China has gone through a glorious 95-year journey. Over the past 95 years, our party has led people of all ethnic groups around the country to overcome all kinds of hardships, dangers, and barriers to attain the grand achievement of the revolution, construction, and reform. It brought the poor and backward old China into a new China, which is increasingly becoming rich, strong, and prosperous. The great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation is showing a bright future that has never been seen before. Since the 18th National Congress of the Party, under the firm leadership of the CPC Central Committee with Comrade Xi Jinping as the General Secretary, the Party has held high the great grand banner of socialism with Chinese characteristics and led people of all ethnic groups to conduct grand struggles with many new historical features, with a firm faith and phenomenal courage. We have overcome difficulties, marched forward, opened a new realm in governing the country, and created a new reality for the cause of socialism with Chinese characteristics. In pushing forward the historical progress of the reform and opening up, and the construction of socialist modernization in every frontier, a great multitude of outstanding Communist Party members, outstanding party workers, and outstanding grassroots party organizations have sprung up, fully displaying the party's advanced and pure qualities. 
The great times call for great spirit. A noble cause needs examples to lead. In celebrating the 95th anniversary of the founding of the CPC, to honor the outstanding ones, to promote a positive atmosphere, to encourage party organizations at all levels and all party members to make greater contributions in pushing forward the 5-in-1 overall plan, to coordinate and push forward the four comprehensive strategic plan in the consolidation with the new development ideas to work hard and succeed in comprehensively building a moderately prosperous society. The Central Committee has decided to honor a hundred party members, including Xia Liqing, and a hundred party workers, including Fu Jiping, and 300 grassroots party organizations, including the Party Committee of the China Academy of Engineering Physics, to award them the titles of the outstanding Communist Party members, outstanding party workers, and outstanding grassroots party organizations, respectively. The outstanding individuals and collectives are outstanding representatives of each frontier, including enterprises, rural areas, organ schools, hospitals, scientific research institutes, communities, social organizations, the People's Liberation Army, and the armed police force. Their model, deeds, and noble spirit have clearly displayed the nature and purpose of our party, inherited and carried forward the party's fine traditions and style, vividly shown in the new era the political character and pioneering image that puts ideas into power for action whenever and wherever. The Central Committee calls all party members and party workers to learn from the honored outstanding individuals, deeply learn and implement the important speech series of General Secretary Xi Jinping, strengthen our faith and beliefs, be loyal to the party, constantly strengthen political awareness, awareness of, of, of the overall situation, awareness to follow the central leadership, honor the party's constitution, observe the party's regulations, act and speak according to the standards of party members, observe strict self-discipline to be clean and honest, remember the fundamental purpose of the party, stay in close contact with the people, courageously shoulder burdens, act positively, play a full pioneering and model role in production, work, study, and social life. Take the lead in practicing the core values of socialism. Up uphold morality. Learn from the models and consciously cultivate noble morals. All party organizations should learn from the model collectives that are being honored, practically carry out all duties mandated by the party's constitution, take lead in implementing the party's theories and policies, consciously keep the party's unity, uphold democratic centralism, consolidate the major duties incomprehensively governing the party, strengthen the construction of leadership in the cadre's teams, strengthen the construction of grassroots organizations and party teams, and work hard to create top performances in pushing forward development. <laughs> the Central Committee hopes that the outstanding individuals and collectives cherish your honor and keep up the good work to make new, greater contributions for the cause of the party and the people. Now, our country is entering a key stage in building a comprehensive, moderately prosperous society. The task of reform, development, and stability is obvious. All party organizations and all party members should rally closely around the party's central committee with comrade Xi Jinping as general secretary. They should affirm the confidence in the path, theory, and system of socialism with Chinese characteristics, pay real efforts, take the lead guide the people of all ethnic groups of the country to work hard for the realization of the two century goals and the Chinese dream of the grand rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. July 1st, 2016.
Now, please invite the central leaders to honor the nation's outstanding Communist Party members, party workers, and grassroots party organizations. Watching a live coverage on the conference celebrating the 95th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing and the CPC's outstanding grassroots units, members and party workers are receiving high praise from its leaders. CPC members come from all walks of life according to the organization department of the CPC Central Committee. The Communist Party of China now has more than 88 million members by the end of 2015. Some 25% of them are women, while 6 million are from ethnic minorities. At grassroots party units increased to more than 4.4 million by the end of 2015. Now, for more insight into this, let's talk to our studio guest, Professor Fong Ping and Professor Rick Dunham. So, Professor Fong, what does it take to be an excellent CPC member? In order to be a member, of course, you have to be very understanding wherever you are working, mm -hmm. uh, in your professional achievements, in your even in terms of your moral standards, mm. in terms of how you can be a kind of uh, uh, example uh, for others to see. Uh, therefore, a kind of uh, public opinion is also quite important and uh, fourthly uh, there is a very uh, restricted uh, discipline party uh, discipline uh, which you have to abide by uh, in order to be a member and even after your membership this has to be the rules mm. well, professor Dunham, uh, uh, have you met many uh, communist party members during your work in china and what's your impression on them? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I say discipline is, is the number one characteristic I, I would uh, mm. see. The second is, uh, in a way, I call it flexibility, meaning changing with the times as, mm -hmm. uh, a, a, as uh, things happen with the economy, with technology. Uh, in the world uh, to to be uh, willing to do what in the earlier report we heard of lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Now let's uh, again turn to the Great Hall of the People, where the conference celebrating the 95th anniversary of the founding of the CPC is underway. And now you're watching a ceremony uh, praising outstanding party members, party units, and uh, CPC members come from uh, all walks of life. Outstanding members of the CPC party have just received awards and honor. <laughs> 